Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Appalachian Home Co. So today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own custom t-shirts using your Cricut machine. So we're going to be using the Cricut Maker 3 and our Cricut Easy Press to create these awesome t-shirts. You can make these for yourself, for gifts, or even to sell. So we'll be looking at four ways you can use your Cricut to make different shirts. In addition to your Cricut machine, you will also need a Cricut cutting mat, a weeding tool, and either a paper cutter or cutting knife. For the materials, we'll be using iron-on vinyl, infusible ink, printable iron-on for light-colored fabric, and printable iron-on for dark-colored fabrics. I also have four different Cricut brand t-shirts. I love Cricut materials. I love their t-shirts. Cricut offers a wide selection of materials and is constantly innovating and adding to an ever-growing product list. So let's get started with t-shirt number one and some iron-on vinyl. Today I'm going to be using Cricut Smart Iron-On in the color white and Everyday Iron-On in the color neon orange. For our design, I've set up a new project in Design Space. Design Space allows you to use t-shirt templates to help size your design perfectly. And I'm using a small gray t-shirt for this project. And for my design, I'm using a text saying that you can find in Cricut Images. I'll link it down in the description box for you. Once you have sized your design, you will be ready to make the project. I have used the contour feature to separate this project into two colors. So I will be pressing two separate pieces onto this shirt. You will want to mirror your image with any iron-on vinyl before you cut. You will not need a cutting mat for Cricut Smart Iron-On. Smart materials are specifically designed for easier making and continuous or extra long cuts up to 12 feet long. So that makes it super simple to make this project. For the everyday iron-on, you will need the cutting mat. You can change the material settings in Browse Materials drop-down menu and click on Everyday Iron-on or the Cricut material you are using. Every Cricut material is designed to work flawlessly with your Cricut machine. Cricut materials and machines are pre-calibrated for compatibility, so these Cricut materials work perfectly on the cut settings that Cricut has provided for you. Iron-on vinyl will need to be weeded after cutting before ironing onto your shirt. And I'm using the Cricut Easy Press at a setting of 315 degrees for 30 seconds to press the iron-on material. Cricut does have a heat guide online that will tell you the correct heat settings you need to use for any Cricut materials. The second way you can create t-shirts with Cricut is with infusible ink and I'm using animal pattern infusible ink, which I will link below. Your project setup will be similar as before. I'm using this cute mama design. This is also found in Cricut's images. You can filter your images by the material you are using if you want to search for images just used with infusible ink. With infusible ink, you also want to mirror your image before cutting.
As with iron-on vinyl, you will need to weed out all of the extra infusible ink before pressing. I like to break up around the cut lines with my fingers and just pull and tear away the parts that I don't need. Now we're ready to press. I'm gonna be using a medium white t-shirt for this project. Cricut t-shirts are specifically designed to work well with infusible ink, iron-on, and all the materials we are using today. So you want to make sure the t-shirts are free from lint and debris. I'm also pre-pressing, but you wanna make sure your t-shirt is cooled down before placing your infusible ink design. I will be pressing this infusible ink at 385 degrees for 40 seconds. Since my design is large, I will also be making two presses to cover the entire image. I love this infusible ink pattern. And if you are wondering how long this design will stay on this t-shirt, it is here permanently. Cricut materials go through a rigorous testing process to ensure lasting results on all of their materials. They are all safe for their intended use and compliant with all applicable regulations for manufacturing operations. Now we are moving on to t-shirts number three and four. We're gonna be using Cricut printable iron-on for light colored fabrics, as well as the printable iron-on for dark colored fabrics. In design space, you can select any print and cut image that you like. I'm gonna be using this awesome little create design on a white women's t-shirt, and this I'm gonna be using with the printable iron-on for light colored materials. I'm also gonna be using this pumpkin design and we'll be using this with the dark printable iron-on material. You wanna make sure that whatever design you are using is set up to print then cut for the printable iron-on. After sizing your designs, you can go straight to make it and they are ready to print out. You do not want to mirror these images when using printable iron-on. I'm going to be using a plain paper setting on high quality for my printer and I'm going to be printing these out using an inkjet printer. Mine is Canon but any inkjet printer will work. In Cricut materials, I will be using the printable iron-on light colored materials setting. After you have printed the designs, I will be placing them on the mat. You want to line up the corners of the paper with the top corner of the grid lines on your cutting mat. And also make sure your design is placed on the mat as it is shown on your screen. Cricut will read the registration marks printed with your design to perfectly cut around the image. Now we're ready to weed. I like to remove the extra iron-on from around this design first and then gently pull the image off of the carrier sheet. You're going to press this directly onto the garment. Now we're ready to press. You want to set the easy press to 315 degrees Fahrenheit and press for 30 seconds. The printable iron-on also comes with a cover sheet in the package that you want to cover the design before pressing. I do like to let mine cool completely before moving my t-shirts to keep the designs from wrinkling. Now we're ready to print our other design. Cricut will let you know if your image is too large for print the cut. There is a specific size for each size of paper that you are going to use. So you will need to resize your design to fit within that area. So now we're gonna print our second design in exactly the same manner as we did our first one using the same settings. You 
You can see the printable iron-on for dark materials is much more opaque than the printable iron-on for light colored materials. It also comes on a clear carrier sheet and it has a little scanner code on the back you can actually scan to go to get all the information about this material. This is going to work perfectly on dark colored materials. You can use this even on black materials. All of these t-shirts turn out so good. I'm so impressed with all of these. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned how you can use Cricut materials to create lovely t-shirts at home. I will leave a link to all of the products and images used in today's video down in the description box. And if you have any questions about these projects or about Cricut, you can leave them under the comments. Thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel today. And thank you to Cricut for sponsoring this video. I hope to see all of you back again soon in my next video.